Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Today's lesson is the response to a client who's seeking my help. He's having difficulty naming a range of non-contiguous cells. If you're not aware of it in Excel, we actually have an upward limit of 255 characters in terms of the cells that we refer to. So it's not the name itself, it's the number of cells that are going to be referred to. So here if I just make a selection of cells and if I come up here in to the uh, formulas tab on the ribbon in name manager if I start to create a name Danny's not the problem here's the problem in the refers to this is where our 255 character limit comes into play now I scratched my head for the longest time I went over to my resource table and I found the answer in this fantastic book this is an Excel it's magic and I'll come back and I'll, I'll flash this before the end of the lesson all right so here's what we do over here let's take a look on the formulas tab and take a look at the uh, column a show formulas so we have a combination of text constants we have numeric constants and then we have formulas my client wants to be able to select all of these labels so here's a quick way that we can select the labels in column A. So I'm going to highlight column A. I'm going to use the F5 keyboard shortcut, which is the go-to shortcut. What I want to do is come into special, and I want to select in column A constants that are text values. So before we can proceed any further, before we can create a name, we must first select the cells that it's going to refer to. All right, so now that I've selected them, Bob Umless in his book, says go into Visual Basic. Now I could use Alt F11, but another way that we can do that is right mouse click the tab that we're on, view the code. So here we're in the Visual Basic editor and what I want to do is I'm going to open up the Project Explorer. I want this to refer to this workbook. I also have opened up here the immediate window. Now the immediate window you can open up with the keyboard shortcut Control G. So here's the magic. With the selection, I'm going to type in selection period name equals and then inside uh, quotation marks I'm going to call this my labels. Now when we create names in Excel, they must begin with a letter, no spaces. So here we're using the Visual Basic in the immediate window to create this name. So now let's switch back to Excel. Alt Q switches us back. Now up here in our name box we have my labels. Now it's selected. Now if we come over here into the name manager you can see that this is what it refers to but we're not going to have the problem in the 255 character thanks to that great tip. Now let's use this in another example. Let's unhide some cells over here. I have a number of text constants here with the letter A. I'm going to select the columns that contain those letters A and once again I'm going to use the F5 keyboard shortcut to open up go to I want to go to special in my selected columns I want constants that are text values so now I have those cells that non-contiguous range selected once again I'm going to go back into visual basic right mouse click view the code here's the immediate window over here and I'll put once again selection dot name equals and then inside double quotation marks I'm going to call this letter A. Again no spaces in the name click enter let's use alt Q to return to Excel and now you'll see from the drop down that we have letter A so there we've created that come over here into the name manager letter A and this is what it refers to so this is a great tip to be able to get past that upward limit of 255 characters I strongly encourage you to buy this book here's the ISBN number if you want to pause your screen and write that down I can I got this image from Amazon so I don't have all the answers but I do offer you the 50 best tips for Excel but many of my tips come from great sources such as Bob Umless and it's not Excel it's magic and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next lesson